to you need to calculate the internal rate of return using the Hewlett Packard HP 12C calculator and you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you how simple it is to do in today's video. But first, I want to say that I believe something great is going to happen to you soon. And now, back to the video. In a prior video, I showed how to calculate the internal rate of return, the IRR, for this project using a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. If you missed that video, I've got it linked up here. So if you have that calculator, you can see how to do it there. If you don't have a financial calculator, I've got a link in the description with some very good financial calculators that if you want to get one. Here, we're going to work with the Hewlett Packard HP 12C and we're going to calculate the internal rate of return. That is, in other words, with this project, if they invest $30,000 and then over the next five years receive these projected cash flows, at what discount rate, at what interest rate would the net present value equal zero? If you're not sure what a net present value is and how that compares to the IRR, I have linked a video up here that would be a good starting spot for that information. All right, if you're getting value out of this, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'm trying to reach the 4,000 watch hour requirement that YouTube has for monetization of videos. These videos are not monetized, and I would appreciate any help you could give me for that. And I've got some long form videos you can watch for studying or relaxation. And I picked one out, especially for you, and I've linked it up here. Thank you. Let's get to calculating the internal rate of return. The first thing I want to do is clear out the financials. So I'm going to hit this orange F button, and you see it says along here clear. And right above here is clear FIN, so that's going to clear the financials. And just to be sure, I'll hit the CLX. I've cleared out everything. Now we need to start entering the data. We have $30,000 is the initial investment, so I'm going to put that in. $30,000, and because it is leaving the company, it's going into the investment and out of the bank account of the company, we need to make it negative because that's the convention. So I'm going to hit the CHS, which changes the sign, and then I'm going to hit the the G, the blue G button, because I want this CF sub zero. That's our initial cash flow. And the initial cash flow is going out, and that accounts for it. Now I'm ready to enter the next cash flow. We have $11,000, and it's coming in, so I'm going to put 11000 and I'm going to leave it positive, and now I'm going to hit the blue G button again, and this time I'm going to hit the CF sub J here. That's the first one, and the next one is the 8,000. Again, hit the blue button, and right under the payment is the CF sub J. And I like to check them off as I do them. The next one's 10,500. Again, the blue button, CFJ. And 11,500 is the next one, blue button. And finally, 12,500. I've now accounted for all my cash flows, and it's time to find out the internal rate of return. That is the button right here above the future value, it's IRR. So I have to hit the orange F button and hit the IRR, and it quickly comes back with 21.98 and we can round it to 98%. That is the IRR, the internal rate of return for this investment. At this discount rate, our net present value would be zero. 
that is all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it and want to get some more information like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.